you let sip this tea Girl, come talk to me Come on in Girl, come on in here and talk to me Sit on down and relax your body Come please. in and let's sip this tea Girl, come talk to me Come on in Girl, I'm gonna tell you about the perfect me And how God keeps blessing me Before we even get started, let me go ahead and put this disclaimer up. Please make sure you take time to read it so you know where a sister coming from. Hey, honey. Hey, it is your girl, Miss Lita, and I am back with yet another video. So, guys, today's video, I am going to do a quick recap of some things that took place last week and let you know what your girl is up to because I want you to do something for me. So, let's get into it, honey. So last week, I had to tell you guys that, you know, hey, I ain't out here doxing nobody. I ain't got time to be doxing nobody. I ain't for to be hacking into nobody's computer. I'm not about to be sitting here paying for nobody's information. I got a whole child out here that I got to take care of. And I mean that. I'm not giving up my baby's money for nobody. Whatever money I make goes, goes towards me and my child. So I'm not for to do that, okay? Just not for to go down. But... Of course, you know, like I say, I got accused of doxing yet again. Um, I've been accused of so many things that I really can't keep track from this individual. But to make sure that me and mine is good, I went ahead and I did something. And I am going to get into it. And I just want you guys to make sure that you help your girl out. And we're going to go on from there. But like I say, I'm a whole mom out here. So I want y'all to hear something real quick. See, and I keep throwing that term out that I'm a whole mom out here because when you being an activist for children and mothers, you know, you got to make sure that you walk in the walk and you talking the talk and that you got your kids that you can actually say that you've been a whole mom out there for. Okay. Dear sis. I came to speak to those who seem to think that moms are just moms. Well, baby, let me let you in on who we really are. We're alarm clocks. We're bathroom attendants. We're hairdressers. We're personal stylists. We're cooks. We're nannies. We're housekeepers. And that's all before we get ourselves together in the morning. We're, we're physicians, but we ain't got no PhD, but we can heal wounds. We're lawyers. We ain't got no degree in that either, but we can mediate between siblings who can't seem to get along. And sometimes adults who act like kids too. We are chefs. We could pull together a meal with the little scraps in the refrigerator. We're accountants who can make money stretch when you don't even know we are strong because we can hide the stress that you don't seem to think we go through we are all the things that you don't even see at night with prayer warriors praying over our house when everybody else is asleep we are the ones that's keeping the enemy at bay because we're the one laying on our face we are the strong weapons who God has ordained for this position baby we ain't just a mother and you better not even say, let that come out your mouth again let me tell you who we are we are superwoman Okay, y'all. So being that I'm a whole mom out here, I want to make sure that me and mine are protected at all costs. I can handle myself. However, my child is innocent. And if anything should happen or if anything brings, if anyone brings something my way, I want to make sure I have my child protected. So I want to be able to say I exhausted all possibilities of resolving this situation with me being talked about, me being, um, drugged up and down the internet called out my name and the harassment and the threats and all of that i want to be able to say i took all precautions to be able to handle the situation amicably and if this is the only way that i can start then so be it so i went ahead and went on to change.org and i started a petition it's a petition that Anyone can sign and you can also list your complaints in regards to what has transpired with you and this individual. But I'm not I'm not playing no games. I'm not fit the whole back. I'm definitely going to do what I have to do to make sure that me and mine are protected. People get on my nerves sometimes. It's hard yeah. sometimes Woo! people. Oh, yeah. la, la, la. Get on my nerves sometimes. What are we going to do, y'all? Pray. 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 Stay over there. Pray for I'm gonna you. I'm going to pray for you, yeah. Pray. 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 Yeah, yeah. Pray for oh, you. you get on my nerves so oh, bad, yeah. Get on my nerves. I don't know what side of the bed you got up on. Get on my nerves. But I'm gonna need you to go lay down. 
yeah. it again. You get on my nerves. Oh, you get on my nerves. You get on my nerves. But what nerves. we gonna do? Pray. 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 Just pray. Pray for you. Okay, y'all. So, if you would. I would love for you guys to take the moment to sign both petitions that are up. Um, there is a petition up in regards to Gangsta and J. Michael. Um, if you guys would sign that petition. Um, and then there is also a, a um, petition up for me in regards to all of the bullying, the terroristic threats, and various other things that continue to go on. Now, one of the realest things that Gangsta ever said to me was, you know, um, I, I asked, why didn't he strike the people or try to get the videos removed pertaining to people calling him a pedo? And he said, being a parent, I understand. I get it. And if they think that I was that type of person, then by all means, they should react and respond the way that they are. So I'm not worried about those videos being up because that lets them know and that lets others know that they're real parents and that they will fight for their child. So I definitely commend that man because he had went through hell and back and he still stood 10 toes down. Um, so my thing and my reason for saying that is, OK, that was a story that took place last year. And it was no validity to it. If it was any type of validity to it, then this man would be a registered sex offender. He's not on anybody's sex offenders list whatsoever. Anytime there is a sex crime in any state that has taken place, each individual person has to register as a sex offender. That man is not on a sex offenders list. This individual went back and apologized to him and still continues to bring it up now after the apology. Okay, you said you did it because you didn't want that type of person on the internet, on YouTube, but he's not on YouTube. So what's the point in continuing to go after a man who is no longer on YouTube? We understood when you did it the first time. But now you're continuing on, make it make sense. And then every time you look up, my name is in the mix. I don't mention you. I don't bother you. I don't say anything to you. So for, again, my family's safety and protection, and for y'all's family safety and protection, I'm asking you guys to sign this petition. Maybe we can get something done. Maybe we can put a stop to the bullying, the harassment, the terroristic threats, and everything else. Let's go back to having fun on YouTube, being able to create content, give our commentary, do our pranks, or whatever else it is that we want to do without having to deal with the cyberbullying and so on and so on. So if you guys would please look down in my description box below, take the time to sign your name on the petition. I would definitely appreciate it. Much love and respect. I'm misleader. I'm opinionated. I'm unbothered and I am unapologetically me. Until next time, guys, I am your girl, Miss Lita, and I'm saying bye, honey, bye. Please make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and as always, have a blessed and wonderful day and know that you are highly favored and loved. Man, let's sip this tea. Girl, come talk to me. Come on in. Girl, come on in here and talk to me. Sit on down and relax your tired feet. Come in and let's sip this tea. Girl, come talk to me.